I went out of town, that I wasn't able to secure a sound guy. And um, so I don't know why you didn't get that message. I'm sorry you didn't have a sound man, but I am not going to take the responsibility for that. I left a message saying I was not going to get you a sound guy. And A, it's really not my responsibility. I've been doing that out of generosity. And B, I did leave a message. I don't, you don't always get my messages. I know that as a fact. So um, regarding the remainder of your message, that's perfectly fine with me. I'm not gonna sweat it at all. Um, you know, I, if, it, if your attitude is in a direct relation to the fact that you didn't have a sound guide, then I say piss on you because um, I have done more than my call of duty uh, I don't get paid on those Cincinnati shows. They're none of my business. They're your shows. I'm not going to work for free. And as far as I'm concerned, if that's your attitude about it, I don't even want to work with you. So um, if you want to take two years and throw it away, um, that's fine with me. As far as I'm concerned, you have no label. Um, you really don't have um, anything that I can work with anyways except the band that exists, which I think is great. But, um, it, you know, your message was bullshit, and um, you made an assumption that I never did call, and um, I have been known to cover my ass and keep my shit clean, um, and according to your message, I, it was my responsibility. According to me, I left a message saying to you that I could not secure somebody, that it was your responsibility now. It was never my responsibility. I was doing it out of generosity, and, you know, I, I just think it's really piss poor that, as far as you're concerned, you're not going to work with us over that. Fuck you. I mean, that's just ridiculous.
Oh, Virgil. 
some hard traveling. I thought you'd know. I've been having some hard traveling way down low. I've been having some hard traveling, hard rambling, hard gambling. I've been having some hard traveling low. I've been riding them fast ramblers. I thought you'd know. I've been riding them blind passengers way down low. I've been riding them big and fast engines kicking up a sin. I've been having some hard traveling low. I've been laying in a hard rock jail. I thought you'd know. I've been laying there 90 days as a way down the road. Meet old judge said to me that's a 90 days no vagrancy. I've been having some hard traveling loads. I've been working at Pittsburgh Steel. I thought you'd know. I've been dumping that red hot slag way down the road. I've been blasting, I've been firing, I've been pouring that red hot iron. I've been having some hard traveling loads. Some hard arms, I thought you know. North Dakota to Kansas City and the way down low. Putting that wheat and stacking that hay, if I can make about a dollar a day, I've been having some hard traveling low. I've been working on Lincoln Highway, I thought you know. I've been hitting on 66 way down.
tail song I will sing how I want to be fail tail of a maid who was waiting to fall to a man to a man with no balls at all no balls at all no balls at all she buried a man with no balls at all no balls at all no balls at all she buried a man with no balls at all no well no no night of the wedding she leaped into bed her breasts were a heaving and her legs were spread she reached for his pecker, but his pecker was small. She reached for his balls, he had no balls at all. No balls at all, no balls at all. She married a man with no balls at all. No balls at all, no balls at all. She married a man with no balls at all. Well, no no mother, mother, and what would I do? Cause I married a man, he's unable to screw. Many long years I've avoided the call. Now I'm married a man, he's got no balls at all. Daughter, daughter, well, don't you think twice. Find yourself a man who's equally nice. Many young men will answer the call to the wife of the man with no balls at all. No balls at all, no balls at all. She married a man. Proceedings exceedingly nice. Bouncing young baby born in the fall to the wife of the man with no balls at all. Of course. 
course you're not at all just like me Another snake in the grass you see Another snake in the grass you see What loneliness will do Make you into such a fool Someone messing with your head all day long and all night through. How low can you go? You can't go lower than me. I'm just a snake underneath the grass. Give me what I ask.
was uh, a few years before, this is years before, I had, I had uh, thought of this idea since I thought I was the man-child who was going to rule all nations, which would be like Christ or something, you know. Um, I had, I had pulled, planned the stunt to pull, which I never pulled, where I'd wear diapers and walk up and down the main streets here in Gainesville and stuff, wearing just a big pair of diapers, nothing else. And I'd carry a gallon of milk with me. It was my So I says, so I says, uh, so I says, uh, I would say that people ask me who I was. I would say I'm the man child who's going to rule all nations, right? But anyways, this was years before. It's part of the story, though. Anyways, this big. So I says, so I says. Uh, delightfully large cock. I fiercely sucked Rex's big dipper, tonguing each and every vein. He gripped my hair and controlled my face. I groaned in ecstasy as his big purple helmet smacked up against my throat. I fiercely ripped off the other half of the uniform and squatted on his arm. Rex arched his back as my boiling snack totally engulfed his penis. I ripped him! My flopping spider, and then at once moved to my diddle my clit. The instant Rex's fingers touched my lock button, I suddenly had orgasm after orgasm. I streaming down my pussy lips and onto his thighs. Rex was truly a great lover. We quickly changed positions, and I found myself leaning over the chair, my ass reaching towards the heavens. Rex bent down and feasted on my quim as it with a porterhouse 
Dante! And quivered again! And his tongue darted deep inside my pussy and raged over my love nub! Rex entered me from behind and nearly knocked me over the chair! I bumped against his groin like a mad bronco! He reached around under my abdomen and squeezed my star clusters! Finally, with this cock still thrusting inside me, Rex unleashed an offering of love lava, which made me tingle.
You can be who you want to be. You can be the one in a million. You can be the one who soars to the top of the charts.
know they're out there, don't you?
Vietnam.
I said I was the man child who was going to rule all nations and stuff like that. And then, uh, then so we weren't walking back home and stuff, you know, we're staying in that part of town, right? And uh, anyway.